Vlogs. This is Deborah Capacio from the Mine Revere, Mexico. Hey, Rob's Vlog. Hey, Vlog. We're here at the ACC for a skate. We're gonna have some Leafs old timers coming out soon. Hi, Rob. Hi, Hi Rob from Vlog. Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye, Rob's Vlog. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Hey Rob. Hey what? That was Ford Francis. It was amazing. Had the first video I've ever done. I've been waiting a while for this. Actually go viral. Seriously? Why? Why? Well, I, I think I got some ideas. First off, I'd like to give huge thanks to the amazing people of Fort Francis, Ontario. Fort Francis is a small town of about 8,000 people up in northwestern Ontario, up here. And it's on the border of Minnesota. And you can see, you can actually see the Minnesota border right across the river with that lumber mill with all the smoke. That's Minnesota. That's the U.S. of A. Fort Francis, Ontario, and all you amazing people, Thank you so much for my first taste of any kind of viral video. Let's put this episode into perspective relative to an average polling vlog. So let's just shrink down this one, just move it over a little bit that way, and let's pull up an average good polling vlog, which would be say vlog 96, the Toronto Toboggan Guide. So let's just pull that one up. Just, yeah, that's good. And then I'm gonna do the rest by voiceover so I don't have to keep turning around and looking, but it's just a green screen anyways, but I'm gonna still do it by voiceover. The first thing that pops out is the total reach this vlog received, reaching 93 plus thousand, translating into 57,000 views, about seven or eight times as many as usual. I want to be completely honest and transparent and share with you what's working and what's not working. This is sort of a social experiment that we're doing together. For each episode, I will do what's on Facebook called the Boost and on YouTube it's called a video promotion for about 10 to 20 dollars depending on how confident I am on the vlog and the reason I do this is because it expands the reach of the videos. Expanding the reach of course puts it on more people's feeds and thus gives you more video views and it maybe not good video views or maybe not the proper video views but it certainly makes you feel like you got a bigger point here is I'm not convinced it's worth it and I definitely haven't figured out how to maximize my ROI on this spend. This is the results of the boost on Facebook for these two vlogs. This is the one for 96, and you can see about two thirds of the views actually came from the paid. And this is the one for this one, the 103, which I proved the boost of $20 completely irrelevant. My favorite part of this vlog and the whole medium in general is that you get to engage with the audience. And because of those amazing 1100 plus people in Fort Francis who took the time to share this video, the engagement stats and ratios just went bonkers. On a normal video, only about 2% of the people will actually engage back with the video. That's giving a comment, a like, or a share. But on this one, a whopping 8.1% of the people who viewed it, and there was a lot of viewers, engaged back with it. And that is absolutely awesome. And why do you think that happened? What, did this video went viral? Yeah, exactly. Why do you think this video went viral? As I mentioned in the vlog last week, my loyal startup audience has been established, but is a small, mostly interconnected group in what I refer to as the pond. But this past week, I had the opportunity to go to Fort Francis with 14 of the best salespeople ever, even if they didn't know it. Love these boys. Their indirect sales tactics were executed with precision as they made their social connections. A viral video starts and spreads the same way a virus does in the medical world, inaugurating with a patient zero. Then we add the influencer model to the equation, where the more influence a person has, the more views and eyeballs they yield their influence to. This of course exponentially accelerates the viral spread. Part of my theory is that one of the social media connections made was to someone with high influence in the community. Oh hey. And so once that connection was made with one of the boys to patient zero, they liked the page. Patient zero saw it and patient zero shared it. Patient zero had influence. 
and I had my first viral video. That's just part of the uh, theory. The other important part to my theory is that once the video started to spread a little bit within Fort Francis, it struck an emotional bone. And the nice people there just appreciated being appreciated, especially by someone like a goofball like me coming up from Toronto and carrying a camera around in his face and just showing, just showing what a great, awesome town they have. I can't say it enough, Fort Francis. You guys absolutely rock. There was also some other offline really cool things like for the first time ever, I got interviewed for a radio station. This is gonna be classic. This is the uh, website. And a draw that says it's the people of Fort Francis who made a trip to the All Ontario Boys High School Hockey Championship enjoyable. The awesome organizers did an incredible job. We got this amazing gift bag. The video itself has gone viral, being seen by over 56,000 people and shared another 1,100 times. Stay up to date anytime online. All right. That was great. <laughs> my first time ever being on a radio broadcast. That was wicked. Seriously, I proved it. I got a face for radio. I take my coaching very serious, and I coach Bennett's minor Pee Wee Select Team. And I had to watch, it was in the last vlog at the end, I had to watch the second of three possible elimination games that this team had to play. And I saw them pull it out. And I got back just in time from Fort Francis to be able to go to the third do or die game for this team. And, and I think you'll figure out how we did. This is in the dressing room just after the game. So, oh boy. I'm like a baby right now. I'm so happy I'm so happy.